Okay, so today we're going to be talking about chords um, on circles and about perpendicular bisectors as well. So basically, a chord is a line that goes from, you know, the edge of your circle to the edge of your circle. Like the diameter is technically a chord, right? This is a specific chord that goes through the exact center of your circle, so it cuts your circle in half. But any line that goes from one end of the circle to the other is generally considered a chord. Now, there is a property um, that can happen here. So if I have a chord on a circle that is, you know, going from the diameter to um, one end of the circle or whatever. So a chord like that. And then I have a radius that comes out um, and intersects at exactly 90 degrees, that chord. It forms what we call a perpendicular bisector. And what that means is this line is cut exactly in half at a 90 degree angle. So all these are 90 degree angles. So this measurement would equal, so 19.5 would be the same here as well. They would both be 19.5. So we can use this property to do a couple of things. Um, specifically today we're going to be finding specific lengths of unknown things in our circle here. So it wants me to give, it wants me to find the diameter and it tells me that this length is 9.5, this is 12.2, and this is 19.5. Well, it tells me the radius technically is right here, 9.5 plus 12.2 is a radius. That should be half the length of the diameter. So that's one way we could go about doing it. So 9.5 plus 12.2 Oops, 9.5 plus 12.2 I don't know how to write my calculator. 9.5 plus 12.2 is 21.7. If I double that, so times by 2, that would be my diameter, 43.4. 43.4 is going to be my answer. Now I'm going to show you another way I could do that. So using the property I just discussed, I could also see, hey, this side would be 19.5, right? Well, if I know that's 19.5 and I know that's 9.5, I could use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out this length, right? Now it's not going to be quite as accurate because, again, you're going to have some rounding and stuff that happens with the Pythagorean theorem but it should get me about the same point if I round and stuff like that. So let's try it. So 9.5 squared plus 19.5 squared is 470, and this is where we get into our inaccuracy, so square root of 470.5. See, so my calculator is technically doing some rounding here. 21.69. Remember, it was 21.7 was the length that I got from adding. But if I doubled that, again, 43, if I round it, I would still get 43.4, right? So I'm still getting the same answer. You just get to some, a little bit of inaccuracies, a little bit, but you're close enough that you can get an approximate answer, right? So let's try another one where we don't have the radius given to us. So let's try this one we're going to have to use the property I just used here, right? This is a perpendicular bisector because it's coming from the central angle and intersecting at exactly 90 degrees. So that means it is intersecting this chord at exactly the midpoint, so halfway. So if I know that, I know this also has to be 10.6. And then I can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out approximately what the radius is, right? So 10.6 squared, whoops, squared plus 4.3 squared is 130.85 square root, 130.85, and 11.43, so that would round to being 11.4, okay? Not too bad, right? Let's try another one. Let's try, ooh, let's do this one right here. 
So number five, I know, or I want to figure out a side length this time, right? So I know 12.5 is the long side, would equal x squared plus 10.8 squared, right? So basically in my calculator, I've got to subtract 10.8 squared from 12.5 squared. So 12.5 squared minus 10.8 squared gives me 39.61. Find the square root. And that length is going to be 6.3 if we round. So x is equal to 6.3. And that's basically all you're doing on this whole worksheet is just, again, setting up the Pythagorean theorem. Um, See if there's any on here that I want to go over. For the most part, I should be able to do it. Let's do this one though, because this one's a little, I gotta zoom in here a little bit so you guys can see it. Number 20. It's a little trickier. So small. Goodness, I don't think I've ever zoomed in this much. <laughs> okay, try and refocus that. Can it refocus? Ugh. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, so this one gives me the radius is 10.5. It gives me this length, and I know this is also the radius, right? but I need to know the side length, okay? And if I know that side length, I can take that away from 10.5, and I should be able to figure out what's left to get the x, right? So again, it's gonna be similar to what we did before, where it's, you know, 10.5 is the longest side, so 10.5 squared, 10.5 squared, and you're gonna to have to subtract the 9.6 squared from it to get your missing side piece there, right? So 10.5 squared minus 9.6 squared is 18.09. Find the square root of 18.09 and we get 4.25. So we're going to take away 4.3. Again, this is going to be approximate. So if I do 10.5 minus 4.3, I get 6.2. So x is approximately 6.2. Okay, and that is chords. Oh man. <laughs>